Today is going to be a very fun day, so let's get to it. And I'm taking a little bit of a different take on Sunny Sunday, so I think it's going to be very interesting, but very fun. And we also may even have some Wattpad, so that's when you know it's going to be a good day. Hey, thank you so much for joining. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to Sunny Sunday. Yes, that is the theme for today's live. But we will be looking at Sunny Sunday in a different type of way because here's the thing. The sun is great. Sun is great. A lot of us need sun to live. We need vitamin D. If you're vitamin D deficient, you can actually be having a lot of health issues and think that you're having all these health problems but you actually just don't have much vitamin D. It's crazy, but it's actually true. But even though the sun can, oh, hi, Barco O2. Even though the sun can do these amazing things it's for us, true. they can also do bad things, like give us skin cancer, sunburns, and all other types of stuff. It can actually be quite poisonous and quite terrible. I've had some adverse reactions to sun in my life. So I just think it's very important that we are know how to protect ourselves from the sun. Because here's the thing, we need protection. So we will be doing a sun safe trivia. So I don't know these questions, so I'll be testing my own trivia as well. Oh, hi, Joseph. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. But So I'll be testing my own sun safe knowledge, and you can do these questions with me, and we'll see how we do and if we really know how to protect ourselves because it's really important to protect ourselves. It really, really is. Okay, let's do this. Are you ready? Our first trivia question is, and by the way, if you get these trivia questions right, you are a star. You are a star. Yeah, protection is so important. Yes, and I know it may sound boring, and you may be like, oh my gosh, you're so boring. Oh, hey, Parsi, thank you for joining. Oh, sh um, follow Parsi Papu. Did I say that right? Hopefully I did. Thank you for joining. And even though that might seem so boring, like, I don't need protection. It's so, trust me, I'm saving your freaking life right now. That may be dramatic, but I really am. I really am. Okay. True or false? A tan can protect you from the sun. I'm going to go with um, a false. I'm going to go with a false on that one. Because, yeah, here's the thing. People love to tan. They think being tan is great. I'm a very pale person. But you know what? You don't need to be tan to be beautiful. Pale is beautiful too. Everybody's saying false, and you are right. False. A tan only gives you SPF 3 protection. There is no such thing as a healthy tan. Mm, who knew that? But, um, Heather McSteven, the Bark 002, you are right. You are very right. Okay. Next question is, do you need to wear sunscreen in the winter? Honestly, I think you do. I really do, right? I think you do. Let's see if we're right. Well, let's see. I don't know what you're saying. I'm pale too, never tan. Same, and you know what? Pale is beautiful. Yes, you do. You say you do, Heather McStevens. You are right. Oh my gosh, Heather McStevens, you are like a sun queen. You are doing so well on this. Yes, it says, yes. The sun's rays reflect off of off the snow and you get twice as many rays. What? The sun's rays reflect off the snow and you get twice as many rays. Oh my gosh. We all need oh, to be careful. It's scary. So, yeah, apparently so. Who knew? Okay. Sorry. The question number, ooh, this is another true or false. 
Oh, I love you too. Well, who I got two answers right. Everybody's getting these answers right. Good job. True or false? Waterproof sunscreen only needs to be applied once a day. Um, okay, I'm gonna say that that's false. I think you need to do it multiple times a day and it doesn't last that long. But I could be wrong. Let's see. It's raining here. Lucky. I don't like the sun. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, that answer is false. Waterproof sunscreen is effective while you are in the water, but must be reapplied once you are out of the water. Oh, who knew that? Good to know. Good to know. False. Oh, you are right. Good job. Okay, next question is. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Next question is: Why do babies need extra protection from the sun? I didn't know babies needed extra protection from the sun. Probably because they have really sensitive skin. Um. Because their skin is so sensitive. I was right. I was right. Babies, be careful. Be careful, babies. Um, sensitive skin. RJ, you are right too. You are so smart. Oh, oh, shoot. I did the wrong one. I did the wrong one. Okay, next one. What degree of a tan is considered to be a safe tan? Okay. I am going to go with there is no such thing as a safe tan. What's your fave movie tips? What do you mean by fave movie tips? Like what's my favorite movie or what are my favorite tips I've gotten from a movie? Let me know and I'll definitely answer. But, oh my gosh, I was right. No tan is safe. Yes, no tan is safe. A tan does not protect you. We're all at risk. So we all need to wear sunscreen. Wow, I love learning about babies. Yeah. Um, name three places on the body that people often forget to apply sunscreen. Where do people forget to apply sunscreen? And this is probably a place where they should. Ooh, I'm going to say people forget to do it on their neck because that's like they don't think about the neck and they don't think it'll burn. Um... Their feet in their hands. Th those are going to be my guess, but I could be totally wrong. Dan definitely, tan definitely doesn't protect you. Yes, somebody said hands, somebody said feet. Yes, we will see. Let's see, shoulders. Yeah, maybe, let's see. Um, ooh, the neck. Yes, I got that right. The neck, the top of your feet. The back of your knees. I didn't think about the back of your knees. Ears. You have to put sunscreen on your ears? I've never put sunscreen on my ears. Um, bald spots. Bald spots? Lips. You have to put sunscreen on your lips? I mean, no offense, because look, I know this is like a really good website that tells you, you know, like, th basically it's a website, it's like, a, it's the skin cancer website, so how to prevent skin cancer, but like putting, that sounds gross, sunscreen on your lips, then you would, oh, okay, um, well, thank you for that information. Okay. Okay, next question. A tan is evidence of A. A day spent at the beach. <laughs> B. No use of sunscreen. Or C. Sun damage. Oh my gosh. This place hates tans. I'm going to say they're like really dramatic and they're going with C and saying a tan is sun damage, which probably, maybe that's true. Let's see. C, sun damage. Oh my gosh, this place is intense. 
this place is intense. I am like, ooh, never going out in the sun again. We should all wear those hats. You know what I'm talking about, the hats that people wear when they get, um, like, something, like, any type of surgery, and they have those hats, and it covers, like, their whole face, and they're, like, maybe we should all wear those all the time. It'll be my thing. Well, I got it right. Oh, you're so good. And Amelia said B. That's close. That's what, yeah, that's, this, this place is intense. They are, like, very intense. Okay. Nine. True or false? Sunscreen provides complete protection from the sun. I'm going to go with false. We'll see, though. Let's see. Oh, hey, Emily. Thank you for joining. Let's see what it says. Um, false. I was right. Always remember to follow all of the sun sense guidelines. Oh, they have sun sense guidelines. I don't know what their sun sense guidelines are. Probably should. Okay, if you are going out in the sun, what are three things you should do to protect yourself? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to say, oh, you're all right. Good job. Okay, I'm going to say definitely wearing sunglasses like I'm doing right now. <laughs> wearing sunscreen. Um, and wearing a hat. Um... I can't think of anything else, to be honest. Like TBH. Let's see. Okay, it says use sunblock, wear a hat, cover up. Hmm. Cover up. Yeah, that's true. But they didn't say the sunglasses. But sunglasses are very important. Very, very, very important. Put on sunglasses, wear... Put on sunscreen. Yes, a lot of you said what I said, which I think is super, right? I always wear a hat. Yes, hats are important. Hats, like, give you a lot of protection. Although, it depends on what type of hat. Because if it's, like, a beanie or, like, a headband, then that probably, like, won't help. But maybe it'll help. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Twelve. Let's see what twelve. Oh, wait, no, sorry. To protect yourself, why well, I actually don't know this one. To protect yourself, you should reduce your exposure to sun between A, 11 a.m. and 4 p.m., B, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., or C, 12 p.m. and 3 a.m. Oh, it's 3 p.m. Sorry, 3 p.m. I'm going to say C, 12 p.m. and 3 p.m., but I'm honestly not that sure. One time I make a hat. Oh, my gosh, that's so cool. You made a, you made a hat. That's amazing. I've been badly burnt before from not covering. Oh my gosh. Sunburns are the worst, especially when they peel. It's like, yeah. See, let's see. C. Yes, we were right. C, 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. We were right. Yes. Ooh. Is it medically acceptable that tanning beds are safe? This place is intense. But I like their energy. I'm going to go with no. It is not acceptable. Let's see. We were right. No, it is not acceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. Okay. Ooh, last question. How do you treat a sunburn? Um, honestly, I haven't had a sunburn in like five years so that's kind of hard for me to say but you can put aloe vera on it that's supposed to help right um that definitely helps i think um remember when you would get a blister from monkey bars oh my gosh yes that would hurt so so bad um well you can't put a band-aid on it um we'll stay inside if you go outside again, definitely cover it because you don't want it to get worse. Let's see what they say. Ooh, bathe the sunburned area in cool water until the tingling stops. Oh, I didn't know. Oh my gosh, and then apply a soothing lotion such as aloe vera. Oh my gosh, how did I know that? 
How did I know that? Nice. I'm happy I got that right. I'm setting for our first hater qualification, so I'm learning all this. I was wondering why you were getting all the questions right. You did a really good job. And Barco, too, you killed it, too. And RJ, like, every single question you seem to get right and do an amazing job. So, congrats to you. You are geniuses and really good at protecting yourself.